Shalom, Shalom. It's Ban Yamian from Rock of Yahweh Shai coming to you with a video, man, telling you about some current event that's taking place in our community, man. Because for too long, man, the foolery keep happening, man. And there seems like there's no end in sight. But you know, not all gonna understand and admit and turn from their wicked ways and come to the righteous path, man. But at the end of the day, man, the Lord is doing all what's going on around here, man. The Lord doing all of the killing, right? So you don't want to feel like Satan and do no killing, man. Satan take the message from the Yahweh Shimei and Shai. And the spirit is just a evil spirit that been sent into this earth to do all of these madness, man. Right? And we're going to get to all these things. Now, first and foremost, we're going to send our praises to the Heavenly Father. So we say, call you all the Hawa, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ka'kadash. Brakataya Yahawa, Brakataya Yahweh Shai. Brakataya Yahawa, Brakataya Yahweh Shai. Yeah, man. So we see things happening, man, right in front of our face, man. And we know, say, is Yah by Shim Yah Shai doing all these things, man? Right? So without further ado, let me get the first scripture, man. Proverbs chapter 22, and we start at 6. And it reads, it says, because it's a little 17 year old guy I saw on the road, on the ground, man. Die, man. Didn't even live no life. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, and it reads, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is whole, he will not depart from it. So if we train our children in the way they should go, they're not going to depart from it, man. Right? So basically, we are this Israelite, biblical Israelite of the scripture, man. And to be an Israelite, man, a lot of people think that being an Israelite is just normal like everyone else. No, man. How good it is to know that you are the Lord chosen people, man. When you find out you are the Lord chosen people, the next thing you should be asking yourself, what do I have to do to please the Lord? Because if the Lord has a chosen people, the Lord expects something of you, man. Right? But if you do not do what the Lord expects of you, man, what do you think is going to happen to you, man? The Lord is going to chastise you. Because if I tell my son to do something and he's not doing it, man, I'm going to bring chastisement upon him, man. Whether I beat him ass or whether I give him some punishment. Right? But the Lord, man, He's giving us sore punishment, man. Right? And the sore punishment is death at times. Sometimes you get chastisement. Sometimes you change your ways and come home to him, man. I've been chastised, man. But I didn't know what was going on until I start to find out what was going on. Then I have to, to make haste and delay not and come home to him, man. Right? That's it and that. So I get Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 30. And I start at three, and it read, He that teach, he that teach his son, grieve the enemy. So if you teach your son the correct way, man, it grieve the enemy, man. Because the enemy like to, when your son going off, man, so he can make all kind of gain out of them, right? Because these people benefit off our error, man. So if we root it into this truth, and we do things as kind to the Heavenly Father wants us to do, Yo, there's nothing can come upon us, man. He said, when a man ways please the Heavenly Father, man, he make even his enemy to be at peace with him. Right? And it read, He that teach his son, grieve the enemy, and before his friend he shall find, Salakia, and before his friend he shall rejoice of him. Yeah, so we are going to rejoice. Right? When you teach, teach your children, to do the right thing and they come up doing it doing the right thing you're gonna rejoice man you're gonna find pleasure you know yo yes my son yeah that's my son man yo my son is doing things where you know you find joy but if your son out there smoking weed sitting on the corner up to no good you're not gonna find joy now your son man you'll find distress man and anger man right and bitterness man and too much sorrow kill man Right? So we need to teach our children the right and proper way, man. So they don't go on the street and make a fool out of themselves and kill each other, man. Because that's what's happening right now in our community, man. It's happening a lot, man. Countless times it's happening out there. And why, 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 why this happening? Because the youth them is so 
them don't have no purpose in them don't have a sense of purpose in life man they don't know how special they are man because they haven't been taught the right way man they've been taught all kind of derogative way man so they look down on themselves like they don't even have no self-value but little that they know man they have a lot of self-value man they, they these children that was slain on the road man these children are the large chosen people right and because they haven't been taught the righteous way, man, look what happening to them, man. Judgment in the earth, man. Right? So anyway, let me carry on. I get Jeremiah. And I start Jeremiah 22. And I start at 8. And it read, And many nations shall pass by the city, and they shall say every man to his neighbor, Wherefore has the Lord done done does unto this great city so many nations see us man and they're looking at us and they're astonished they say yo these are the people of abraham isaac and jacob how the hell did they become such does out set a nation yo listen man these people know who you are but you don't know who you are man but it's time for we to take heed man right and if we take heed and start to reverence this sound, this sound doctrine that the brothers are pushing right across the whole globe, man, and come home unto the sound doctrine, man, you're frightened for so your life change in an instant, man, right? From your doing it from your heart, from your doing it with your whole body and your whole soul, man, and you reverence the Heavenly Father. Yo, we all need things, man. When say we need things, we need clothes, we need house, we need all these things, man. But as Proverbs slack ya, as Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 say, man, Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh, and all things shall be added unto you, man. So we have to seek the Heavenly Father first, and the Heavenly Father will add all things that we want to survive unto us, man. It's simple as that, man. We can't put ourselves into the things that we want to survive in life, like uh, 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 Raymond's clothes, so like Raymond clothes, uh, 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 food, we need houses, all these things. We will get them, right? Because if we just put our wheels onto the Heavenly Father uh, and basically <clears throat> seek the Heavenly Father, call upon His name, He will send blessing unto us. But right now, we we underneath a curse where a lot of us can't even re understand what's going on right now. Right? But he sent servant out here to read the scripture and break it down to the nation so the nation can pick up on what's going on and return back from their sinful ways and come home to the heavenly father. Right? And he said, Jeremiah 22 verse 9. Then they shall answer because they have forsake the covenant of the Lord, the power and worship other gods and serve them that's what happened to us right we forsake with heavenly father and what we gonna do we we'll make a covenant with us and we start worship other gods man we start worship money man right we start worship vanity man these things are contrary unto the heavenly father ways man we should serve the heavenly father in truth and sincerity call upon his name man worship the heavenly father all these things that we need in life, the Lord will add them unto us, man. It's just simple as that, man. But Yasharallah is out there, just have his mind stuck in all kind of wheels of um, the, the Eden nation, man. You have your head stuck in underneath vanity. You just want to get this, you just want, and you're not praying for it, man. You're not moving towards the Heavenly Father. There's a thing out there that they said, the Lord help who that help themselves. Not no gossip, man. The Lord help who is keeping his commandment, man. That's who the Lord help, man. Right? Don't think that you're out there and you're making whatsoever gain you're getting out there. Sometimes you think that the Lord giving you that gain, man. The Lord not giving a gain, man. Right? If you're keeping the Lord's commandment and you see you start excelling in life, you know the Lord giving you something for you serving him, man. You're obedient unto him. Right? Verse 10, and it read, Weep ye not for the dead, neither bemoan him 
But weep sore for him that goes away, for he sh shall return no more, nor see his native country. Now, the scripture said, man, weep ye not for the dead, man, right? But weep for him that gone, man. So we did left our last touch and command, man, commandment, man. So weep for us, man, right? Because we left our last touch and commandment. That's why what? We're not seeing our native country, man. Our native country is over there sitting there idle, man, with some, a lot of, um, fox running up on it, man. And rats and roach, right? And alien, man. They're running up and down over there right now, man. But we haven't seen our native country, man. Because, oh, man, all these mother of evil that take on to our mind, man. See, we start to fall in the street like nobody business, man. But the Lord is doing all these things to we, man. Right? Let me carry on. <clears throat> That's it and that. So I'm going to get Isaiah. <clears throat> get Isaiah chapter 51. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 20. It says, Thy son have fainted. They lie at the head of all the street. As a wild bull in a net, they are full of fury of the Lord. The rebuke of the, the rebuke of thy power, man. So you see, it says the youth are fainted, man, and they lie in the street, man. That's what that young man lie in the street, man. Dead, man. Right? And they're full of fury of the Lord, man. They're just killing each other. Don't even know why they're killing each other, man. Right? So all these things, man, it's of the Lord doing, man. Because the Lord create all these um, spirit man to come and attack man and do what he please man, right? So let me get um go back to um Jeremiah Jeremiah nine. Jeremiah nine and start at 21. For death is come up into our window, and it enter into our palace, to cut off the children from without, and the young man from the street. So you see, death is come up into our window, man, right? And to, it, it cut off the young man from, the young man, Slakia. It cut off the children from without, and the young man from the street. So it cut off the young man from within, without, within, Slakia, from without, and the young man from the street, right? So that young man is dying in the street, man. See, the scripture is telling us all these things, man. Why well, come upon us, man, because, oh, man, we can't share it to the Heavenly Father. We, as we are his chosen people, man. We should get down on our knees, man, and repent from all of the wickedness that we bring upon our children, man. And we should teach our children the ways right now. The truth are in the earth right now, man. Leave off of this foolery, man. Leave off of this lie that this earth speak unto us, man. Because they dumb us down in the school system. They dumb us down in the church. Right? How come your enemy cannot make up a church and send you to that church and he's going to teach you right? He won't gonna, he's, ain't going to do the right thing, man. Right? Verse 20, 22. Speak, thus says the Lord, even the carcass of men shall fall as dung upon the open field and as the handful after the harvest men, and none shall gather them. Yeah, man. At this time, man, they're taking up the dead off the road, man. But it's all come a time when they can't find it. nobody to take up the dead off of the road, man. Right? Because Yahweh Shimiyasha is in control, man. And he's doing all these things unto his children, man. Right? So we need to find out what we have to do, man. And stop the foolery, man. And come home to the Heavenly Father. This is what we have to do, man. Come back to the last statue and commandment, man. You know how, how, how pleasing and how good it is to be an Israelite. A lot of people that love to be an Israelite. And we, being the Israelite, and the Israelite don't want to take the Israelite um, praises with both hands, man. Yeah, we should hold on on this thing, man, and run with it, man. Because we 
are the rulers of the earth, man. We have to have rulership mind, man. Stop up this mind where we want to teach our children to go to school and become a good um, employer, man. Right? We want to be teach our children to do biz to, 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 to run business, man. Our children need to be kingdom minded. Okay? Now let me get um, Ecclesiastic chapter 39 and it start at um, 28. Now we're going to go into the spirit, man. When a lot of people love to talk about Satan doing this, Satan doing that. No, man. The Lord creates spirit. We create for we was created to do vengeance, man. Right? Now let me get into it. It says Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse 28. And it read. This is the Apocrypha. Right? And it read. There be spirit that are created for vengeance. So the Lord creates spirit for vengeance, man. So when you see people are dead upon the road, man, is the Lord send these spirit to go and do what he please, man. I know we've been taught wrong like Satan doing this, Satan doing that. The Lord doing all these things, man. Right? Let me carry on. And it says, Which in their fear, fury lay on sore stroke. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the rod of him. That made them. Who made them, man? Yeah, yeah, by Shimmy or Shai. The Lord made these spirit. And when the Lord pour out these spirit, say, Go down there and I want you to murder him, man. You can't miss, man. The spirit coming. Right? And he's coming to do what the Lord ordained him to do, man. Because, yo, we cannot hide, man. We cannot. Listen, man. Everything is in the scripture, man. Right? And as I said, man. A lot of us didn't talk right, man. We didn't talk the way that the Heavenly Father meant for this book to talk, to read, man, and understand, man. But we, the servant, is here, man. We, read, we are going to read this book and we are going to bring out the understanding and to all your shall out there, man. Right? And it read again. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 32, and I start at um, 39. And it read, I'm going to show you, man. The Lord is the one doing all these killing out here, man. There's no damn, the, 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 the demonic spirit. The Lord has to give them order before they can do what they please. Right? The Lord give them the order and they come and they do. Because, see, I just read, they're a spirit that's created for vengeance. And they please, who made them to go and do it, man? Yabai Shimei Ashai made them, man. And he created his spirit to do vengeance. Now let me read um, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 39. And it read. See now that I am. That Slakia. See now that I even I am. He and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. See the Lord say, man. The Lord said, I kill, I wound, and there's no God with me. Seeing there's none can deliver out of my hand, man. This is what the Heavenly Father said unto his children. So through we break the last stature and commandment, right? The Lord said, judgment must begin at this house, man. And right now, our people facing judgment and they can't even comprehend what's going on. Because, oh man, they've been blind, man. Their eyes are set on the wrong thing, man. Your eyes should set on Yahweh Shimei Shai. You are an Israelite. You have a duty. You have to be obedient unto the Heavenly Father, who is Yahweh Shimei Mashiach Yahushai. Right? And if you're not obedient to the heavenly father, man, this spirit is going to lay on sore strokes and it's going to pull out wrath upon us, man. And you're going to see our people, them, man. All kind of accidents are going to take them, man. And I'm going to say, oh, what accident? Oh, this bad, that. It's the Lord doing all these things, man. The spirit that created for vengeance, 
right? Now, let me get Jeremiah chapter 40. Jeremiah chapter 40. Let me start at what? Jeremiah 40. Start at verse uh, 2. Seek ye, slack ye, speak ye comfortable to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she had received of the Lord hand double for all her sin. So you see, we have received of the Lord hand, man, double for all our sin, man, right? The voice of him that cry in the wilderness, prepare he the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our power. See, you see, the cry of the Lord, I was crying in the desert, man. So these, Jeremiah just going back into the time, man, when Amashiach Yahawashai was the one that was preparing the way for us when we was coming out of Egypt, man, right? So Yahweh Shimei and Shai, man, is in the midst of our people, man. And you say, if we don't get this thing right, man, we just have to keep lay on the ground, lay in your house, pestilent, all kind of thing are going to come up our man. Because the Lord said, man, judgment must begin at his house, man. Right? And the house of the Lord is, is the Israelite man. So if we the Israelite not take heed and come out of this way of life and come home back to the understanding of the Heavenly Father, we are gonna always I get beaten, man. And it's time for we take heed and refrain from this madness, man, and come to righteousness. Because we are the righteous seed down here, man. We're not supposed to pollute ourselves with the unrighteous people, man. Right? You never see a tiger, man, I mix up with a, um, a hyena, man. You never see a lion, I mix up with, 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 with a gazelle, man, right? If you see him, I mix up with a gazelle, man, he need food, man, and he's going back to his own, man, right? So we need to search and try our way man and go back to the heavenly father in truth and sincerity right let me get lamentation chapter 4 <clears throat> lamentation chapter 4 verse 17 and it reads as for us our eyes are yet fail for our vain help as for us our eyes is filled for our vain help we always look people for help no justice no peace no justice no hey them no business with you remember michael um jackson said all i really want to say they don't really care about us they don't care about us man we only have we and we have the heavenly father they knew why are they going to tell you i remember I rode a month ago out there in the street, man, and I was dealing with a Edomite, man, and I was reading the scripture and cutting this Edomite, man. And I said to the Edomite, who's down here to, um, who's down here helping us? There's nobody down here helping us. And he said, you have yourself and you have the Lord. And I was like, raw. He knows that. But do you know? Our people doesn't think like that. He said, we have ourselves and we have the Lord. That's who we need. We don't need no vain nation to help us. Mark, what? Oh, no justice, no peace. Listen, man, we are the children of the light, man. We are the children of the spirit. Right? So all we have to do, man, is come up to Heavenly Father and truth and sincerity, man, and everything stop, man. We will be... That rightful ruler who's supposed to be ruling this earth, man. But because our mind would 
polluted with all kind of madness man we don't have ourselves and see ourselves like we have that kingdom minded like we can rule man why you think we can rule we used to rule before and that's what my mind is right now man and that is how i'm teaching my soul, man to be kingdom minded to be ruler man i don't want to get up every day and go to work man i tired of this thing man this is hell man knowing who i am man and it read as for us our eyes as yet fail for our vain help in our watch we have watched for a nation that could not save us no nation cannot save us man you could have ball no justice no peace oh no no oh oh we need justice you need the lord that's all we need and when we have when we go seek the lord these nations are finished we should walk on them man we should trample them So this is a heritage man, come home back to your heritage. Stop being a black man, stop being a black woman, stop being a Jamaican, stop being a British. These things are by word man. So if you're born up in a year, you have a year man. It doesn't matter where you're born man. It's, the top. it's all about your bloodline, your pedigree. Right? As number one, chapter 18 tells us a man. Your biblical nationality is in the Bible. And you, Yasharala, who is Israelite out there, you better wake up and move from that dust out state of mind, man. Stop making your children being slain in the street because of madness, man. Let me get Jeremiah chapter 8. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 8. Start at 3. And it read. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family which remain in all the place whether I have driven them, says the Lord of hosts. So the Lord said, man, whenever they choose death, right, more than come home back unto his way, man, because on the evil, man, when you hear say you're Israelite man, you should get up off of your coach man, you should get up and stop doing what you're doing man and jump in on this scripture man and find out what do I have to do to please the Heavenly Father because what? I am a child of a Mashiach Yahawashai. I don't know why our people delaying and thinking what they, yo, this is gold man, this is pearl. As the scripture said, man, no phone I go choose death rather than life, man. Right? Now this is what we have to do, man. Let me get Leviticus chapter 19. Leviticus chapter 19. Start at 17. I read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Just like that, man. We shouldn't hate a brother. And we shouldn't hate our sister, man, in our heart, man. Right? We're supposed to look at each other, man. We're going through the same thing, man. We're in the same boat, man. We're one big happy family, man. If your brother do you anything, man, go over to her, go over to him alone, man. If your sister do you anything, man, go over to she and her and yourself alone, man. And you know, you know, talk about it and get over it. If she don't want to listen, see counsel. Don't go behind her back and start to build up animosity and oh I don't like her, she don't like me and these are the way of the Eden man. This is what we've been taught. So we need to get this thing out of our mind man. Cause this did not bring we gun away man. Right? We have to look upon each other just like how you look upon yourself man. Right? And it read Thou shalt in any Wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So if we rebuke each other, man, you see, may I do something wrong, man? Yo, Bonnie, I'm here, I can't do that, man. Come on, man. I'm like, oh, cool, brother. 
I see you do something wrong. Man. Yo, Ark, you can't do that, man. Oh, Aquaf, you can't do that. Yo, if we're ready for rebuke each other, man, we can't suffer. That's love. We can't, we can't see you do something, man, like, cut me out like me not see you. That's hatred, man. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We shouldn't grudge none of the children of Israel, man. Right? We shouldn't tell no lie unto each other, man. We should reverence each other, man. With truth and sincerity, man. We should love each other just like how you love yourself, man. Yeah? But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord, man. The Lord give that is a commandment, man. So if we just keep this one commandment, man, you see that young child, 17 year old, that my drive past on the street, spread out, man, with a tent over him. That wouldn't happen, man. If we love thy neighbor as thyself, if you love your Israelite brothers and sisters just like yourself, you wouldn't push a knife. In your brother if you love him like yourself it's like you're killing yourself so if we start taking on these things on board man yo yeah by shimmy and shy will make us excel back in righteousness and greatness shall come and our doorstep again man but for now the fury of the lord is at our door man so if you want the fury of the lord to leave from your door you know what to do Seek the Lord in truth and in righteousness. With that being said, I'm going to close it out and I'm going to say, Call you all your Hawa, by Shem, your Shai, by Shem, Kakadash, Glory and honor to your name, your Hawa, by Shem, your Shai. I said, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Shai, Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Shai. Till another one, man. Shalom.